Well, I think it's a good move on their part. I, if you look at Volvo's numbers, uh, I think they sell about 100,000 here in the U.S. Uh, we sell about 2.5 million here in the U.S. Uh, so when, when you have a much smaller portfolio of product, it allows you to concentrate in a much smaller niche of the marketplace. Uh, you know, today, all alternative vehicles, and I would throw fuel cells, EVs, and hybrids in there, they're 3.2 to 3.5% of the industry. So if, if your sales of 100,000, if you can concentrate there, that's great. Our, our company, being full-line manufacturer, that's a little bit more difficult to do. You know, in, globally, we've sold over 10 million hybrids in the U.S., Seven out of ten hybrids on the road are still either Toyota or Lexus nameplate vehicles. So we're still the king of hybrids and alternative fuel vehicles here in the U.S., but it uh, would not be possible for us today to move 100% of our production in that direction. But is that a goal for you, say, in the next decade? Uh, I don't know if the next decade makes sense. You know, I, I, I think if you look at the future of powertrains, uh, Regular gas powertrains have been improving tremendously over the next few years. Uh, they will continue to improve as we go forward. We believe that hybrids are still going to be the backbone of our overall powertrain strategy. Plug-in hybrids, extended ranges, will get larger and larger. Uh, we've already introduced fuel cells into the market, and we think that long-term future is going to be fuel cells. EVs will be part of that. Uh, but we have a little bit of different strategy than, than others. We think that small range EVs are probably the better use of an EV um, and longer range, longer distance. We think fuel cells that can refuel in three to five minutes, very much like a gasoline powered car, are in fact going to be the future.